And yesterday got some decent rainfall amounts. Nothing that was fairly widespread in terms of any flooding concerns. Thankfully, more isolated in nature, kind of the same as today. We briefly had a flash flood warning for Slidell that was quickly lifted as the rainfall moved out, and that really is what helped us out. Rain was moving in and out. We didn't just see training or any downpours that just lasted for a very long period of time. We had some efficient rainmakers and got some good soaking rains. If anything, look on the bright side. It stayed cooler today. We've got a dent. Decent little downpour that's passing across Poplarville and also weakening as it does so. Had some heavier rain around the river parishes, quickly moved into the now uh, more uh, bayou of. Uh, say north of 10, the marshes there, and that is also starting to weaken out. So plenty of moisture still surging our way, but as our tropical system gets better organized, it will start drawing that moisture toward it. As I mentioned at the top of our newscast, what had been Invest 91 now designated as PTC number one. Doesn't change anything on its structure or its strength. It just means now watches and warnings can be issued because we are expecting this to strengthen one and also already to be inland probably by Thursday morning, maybe late Wednesday. So it's got a short window of any further strengthening. So this doesn't look like it's going to be a wind or surge concern, more of a heavy rainmaker as that tropical moisture will then start getting a little bit closer to the center and all start pushing into Mexico and Texas. So that starts to take that greater rain threat for us away and start shifting it more. Maybe the Lake Charles area, but definitely across all of coastal Texas. Texas and Mexico as this system does get a little bit better organized. Then we'll see a period of drier weather as we head into the rest of the week. So for tonight, we still have that risk of some street flooding, although I don't really foresee that being a great concern through the rest of the night and certainly not nearly as much during the day tomorrow. We may have a few isolated heavy downpours, but our rain coverage, which was about 90%, maybe even 100% today, will shrink down to about 40, 50% during the day tomorrow. The greater threat for flooding begins shifting off toward coastal Texas. As far as rainfall totals today, got a decent soaking and again, just about everyone saw some rainfall, almost an inch and a quarter at Kenner. Now those rainfall totals we will add to for tomorrow and even somewhat into Wednesday, but the greater focus is now shifting out toward Texas. So for us with that developing system, it actually improves our weather. If you were hoping for an end to the rainfall, one thing that we could see kind of direct is an increase Increase in winds across the Gulf and with those increase in winds from the east, we could see some minor coastal flooding, especially at high tide for both tomorrow and into Wednesday. Also, we'll have a small craft advisory in effect during those same times. We'll be watching what the winds do over the Gulf waters. Don't really have any buoy data in the Bay of Campeche, but as we start to get into the next 24, 36, 48 hours, we should start to see some of these Gulf winds beginning to increase. Today's high was 86 degrees, but that was set at 912 as most of the day today we have been spent in the 70s thanks to the clouds and rainfall. Always a silver lining. 78 is our current reading with light winds out of the west at 7 miles an hour and temperatures for the most part 70s or low 80s where we didn't get quite enough of that or quite a lot of that rainfall. High temperatures had been upper 80s and even lower 90s. So the surge of moisture still with us tomorrow, although drier air will also be working its way in from the east. And as mentioned, as this system gets better organized, it starts drawing the moisture away from us and we will have a period of drier weather for the rest of the week and going on into the weekend. Now something I'll just mention that the models are picking up on both the Euro and GFS trying to sniff out another little feature, maybe trying to develop in the Bay of Campeche and start getting drawn northward into the Gulf that could bring in another surge of tropical moisture by early next week. Still way too soon to know if anything that were to develop, but not a big surprise that we kind to be within that Central American gyre where you get those systems kind of spinning up all the time down in Mexico and elsewhere in Central America. So our rain chances diminish for tomorrow. Hopefully enough cloud cover though keeps us a little bit milder. 86 underneath some of those showers drops into the 70s. Fewer showers still as we continue through the week and weekend. Hotter though if you have any weekend plans and then maybe some more of that tropical moisture headed our way next Monday. All right, Chris, thank you.